Hello once again guys, I hope you're all doing absolutely great and I'm back with a brand new video and this one is going to cover the world event that is Day of the Dead in World of Warcraft. Now this world event is currently taking place and I highly recommend that you check it out uh, and you will basically get 10 achievement points that are so so easy to get and also a companion pet and there are also 5 toys available. So that's pretty cool. So what you need to do is find Katrina and she's based in the graveyard of any capital city and you basically go up to her and slash dance and you will receive the Day of the Dead achievements and be turned into an undead, like so. Uh, but I do want to mention that it is worth going to the actual graveyard of your race's capital city. See, I'm a night elf and at the moment I'm in Stormwind and uh, that's not the best plan, but we are going to head to Darnassus shortly because if you do go to your race's capital you will receive a quest and that quest is the one that you need to complete to get the companion pet, but we'll get into that shortly. Uh, but here we're just looking over the items that you can get at the vendor for the Day of the Dead. And that includes a mask that you can wear, and also a recipe for Bread of the Dead. And you will have to pick this up guys and learn it, because you will also need that for the companion pet. And there are some other items here that we're going to use. Uh, but once again, we'll get into those a little bit later on, when we're actually getting the companion pet. And here you can see the toys, which are various costumes, like contender costumes. And uh, once you've got them and actually activate them, your character is like kitted out in some kind of like superhero costume or something like that. But I have recorded that and we'll show you that at the end of this video, along with the mask and uh, also the pet itself. So there are all the costumes guys, they cost 100 gold each, uh, so I bought all of those, uh, so that's pretty easy, 5 toys to collect right there. If you're a collector, this only happens once a year guys, and it does run until the 3rd of November, so you've still got time to go and get yours. And here you can see the actual uh, achievement in the world events, Dead Man's Party, and uh, once again all you need to do is dance. Uh, with Katrina to get that, so that's pretty easy. So now guys, I'm going to head off to Dionysus, so if you were human, you would come here to Stormwind to actually get your quest, but I'm not, I'm Night Elf, so I have to go to Dionysus. Okay guys, we're in Dionysus, and I learnt the Bread of the Dead recipe that we bought, and I just bought some simple flour and ice cold milk, um, which you actually need to make that, and so once you've done that, go to Katrina, once again make sure you are in your race's capital city, like I'm Night Elf, so I'm in Dionysus, uh, like if you're a dwarf you would go to Ironforge and uh, so on and so on and so go right up to Katrina because you need the ghostly fire to be able to make that and that is right next to Katrina and then at the vendor you buy the orange marigold and use that at the graveyard and you will see it spawns all of these uh, ghostly figures who are dancing and having a party and you will also reveal a quest and that would be to make the bread of the dead and bring it back to this NPC but we've already made it because we were planning ahead of time so we can complete that and that is done and we have now received the companion pet which is pretty damn cool guys and it's the macabre marionette which is pretty cool it's like a little skeleton uh, with maracas and a sombrero that dances so that's pretty cool and an easy pet and once again one for you collectors so there we go I've got that now and we'll just summon that and take a quick look at that so yeah, all of this is really easy to do guys, I mean if you just follow the steps that I just outlined in this video, um, you'll basically be able to get everything that you need. Now I believe that you can um, actually fight other people who are in those superhero costumes that I talked about, you know, the toys, and I don't know whether or not there's an achievement for that also, uh, but I haven't looked into that I'll be honest, I haven't actually taken part in that, but we will take a look at the costumes themselves, uh, but yes that is the companion pet that you will receive for the Day of the Dead guys. And like I said, this does go on until uh, November the 3rd. It isn't actually just a day, it's a couple of days I think. So yeah, you have plenty of time to get your achievement, your pet, and uh, those toys also. So let's take a look at the uh, mask, the skull mask that we bought from the vendor. There we go. And uh, that does not, uh, you know, get deleted when you use it, so you can keep that. Uh, I think it requires Day of the Dead for you to use it, but there we go, there's a mask. And here are the actual toys, the costumes. This one is called the Snowy Owl. And as you can see, it's kind of like a hero, uh, a superhero costume or something. And you have these like special abilities here. And I think you can like challenge other people who are wearing costumes and uh, fight using these abilities or something like that. I don't really know. But the costumes themselves are pretty cool. So that one is the Snowy Owl. 
and the next one is Santo's son, which I think looks pretty damn cool. So that's that one. Again, I think they all have basically the same abilities and they are like randomized as to which one you get next. And this one, like, you know, a jump attack and things of that nature. So that's pretty cool, guys. Things that you don't see every day in World of Warcraft. You don't often see my druid doing kung fu moves. So there we go. That was pretty damn cool to see. Okay, and on to the next one, which is the Purple Phantom. And again, I think that one looks pretty damn sweet also. And uh, yeah, once again, we just have the same moves like Quick Punch. And I forget the names of the other ones now, but yeah. Oh yeah, there's Strong Sweep, and we also have that Jump Attack, so yeah. Those are basically the moves that you are able to do when you are transformed into uh, a superhero, or, or whatever the hell it is. And on to the next one, which is the Night Demon. There we go, so that is that one. I think when you actually hover over the toys, it does say that you can challenge other players and things like that. But, uh, this is the last one, and that is the Blooming Rose. And which again, looks pretty damn cool. I think probably if you have a male character, they might look a little bit different, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully so. Uh, but I will have to check that out on one of my other characters. Uh, but there you go guys, I just wanted to give you a quick look at all the things that you can get during the Day of the Dead. And it is worth doing because it only comes around once a year. And it is only on until November the 3rd. So do get there quick guys and grab your pet achievement and uh, outfits as quickly as you can. Okay, thank you very very much for watching and I hope this has been helpful. And I'll be back soon with a brand new video. So till that time guys, do take care. And as always, bye for now.